evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. Today is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2011. The following are examples of trade setups that occur on a consistent basis. These trade setups are described in detail in the trading manual and in the live daily Shark Den. Today we are showing seven trade setups for a potential profit of 18 ES ticks. The market opened up this morning at 11.88, represented by the white dotted line. We don't usually trade the first 15 minutes of the day. We entered this one trade a little bit premature, got into the trade, got our first target off and got stopped out from minus two ticks. Um, whereas the, the proper trade setup was right behind it. Opportunity to get short, target one and target two were hit for total 11 ticks. What I showed in the room was minus two ticks, so that's what we're gonna count for the video. When you're looking at your trade setups tonight, just look at the difference of the entry points. And this is a good learning experience because I want you to see where you know an, an error is made, where you can correct it shortly thereafter and do that in the future trades. And then as the market, we went back through our moving average, pulled back, had an opportunity to get long, didn't even get our first target off, and got stopped out for minus 16 ticks. So we got a lot of chop going on the last three days prior to Thanksgiving, so we're, we have a little bit higher volatility going on. Shortly thereafter, you got to stay on, you got to get back on the horse and follow through with the trades. An opportunity to get short, target one and target two, hit for a total of eight ticks. Another opportunity crossing through our moving average to get long. We didn't quite make it down to our hourly range low to find support. We hit a total of eight ticks on this particular trade. Came back through another opportunity to get short. Target one and target one was hit. Got stepped out for minus two ticks. And then just before we went into the no trade zone, another opportunity to get short. Held on into it all the way down for a total of ten ticks. From 11:30 to 1:15 Eastern Standard Time, we generally don't start any new trades just because of the lower volume and the higher volatility. And um, when you have a higher volatility, the trade signals do not materialize in a consistent fashion. So here, coming out of the no trades, and we again had an opportunity to get short. Target one was hit. Target two was hit for a total of 12 ticks to the downside. We then found support here at the opening price. Worked around opening price back and forth. Saw a lot of chop going on. Didn't really see any good trade setups. We did. We missed this one, but I'm still going to show it. Again, this is something you look at in your trade plan at night. As we came back, we had an opportunity to get long. Target one and target two were hit for a total of nine ticks and went into the close for a total of seven trades for 18 ticks. In in reality, if we'd hit every single trade, we'd have had a total of 19 ticks more. We'd have been up so up where around, what, 37 ticks for the day. But um, since I didn't catch them, you have an opportunity to review them at night and uh, make good on them the next day. I want to thank you for being here. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark Trading Manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the Shark Den in the morning.